Hey guys, I'm coming back at it again with another video. Today is going to be about the time that I was in Paris when France won the World Cup of 2018. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so when I got to Paris, I didn't really know any French whatsoever. Like, I take Spanish at school. I probably know, like, three words. I probably know six now that I went to Paris, but basically all I could speak was English. I, I did a lot of touristy things. Cue montage. But yeah, Paris was a really beautiful city. The culture there is amazing. And the food, for the most part, was pretty good. Okay, so let's get on with the day. So like any other day, I woke up in my bed at the hotel. I forgot what the hotel was called. Then we did some touristy things. I don't know what we did that day. Then I get back and the football game is about to start. I swear there was so much honking. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, every time France would score, there would be honks in the city, people screaming at restaurants, and like you could like feel it. Like you wouldn't even have to watch the TV. Whenever you would hear that loud outburst, you knew France scored. But like when the other team scored, I forgot what they were playing against. Like they didn't really make any noise. Eventually me, my mom and my brother, that's the people I went on vacation with, decided to, you know, venture out a little. We got a few videos while walking the streets and this was after France has already won. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. And then after going to about 10 restaurants, we find one little one, sit there, have great food by the way. And we're like just enjoying our meal, you know. And then some drunk guy comes in the restaurant and he was like really drunk. <laughs> um, but he goes up to my brother and he puts his hands on his shoulders and then, I swear, the restaurant owner, he bolts out and he grabs the guy and then he talks in French. So yeah, it was a little funny. And then... Later we would walk, you know, people were still like celebrating the roads, you know, doing crazy stuff in their cars and, you know, motorcycles. And once we got back to the hotel, I basically, you know, got ready for bed and fell asleep to the sounds of car horns. I also have other um, experiences that I've had because I didn't just go to Paris, I went to other places in Europe. So if you guys would like to hear about that, you know, maybe comment or something and yeah and this was when I took a little bit of a break it was after I posted that video with like the Daniel Bergoli thumbnail yeah I had to take a little break because you know I I don't really know how to post and make videos internationally I'm sorry <laughs> thank you guys for watching my video about the World Cup if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video and if you're not already subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and even that bell because apparently that does something. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!